I'm going to talk about this Dan Electro Baritone Electric. I'm going to do a couple of tone demos, which I kind of already did, but mostly I'm going to talk about the features on the guitar. And I'm going to talk about why I think it's an interesting thing to have for a singer songwriter. So straight to the point, the number one reason that a singer songwriter would want a baritone guitar is because it gives you access to five keys on a different position of the neck that you wouldn't have otherwise. This would be the low E on the regular guitar. So you've got five half steps below that. So capo or capo basically have got your guitar tuned where you want it to be. So obviously that's a matter of taste because of course you can just play any key on a guitar tuned regularly. But the nice thing about the baritone is that when you play your D chord down here with that low note, it really gets it out of the way of your vocal in the mix. And if you're playing solo, this is kind of halfway between a bass and a guitar. Your guitar and your voice would normally compete in a register, but this kind of allows you to get a nice, really full sound out of your guitar, and your voice is kind of sitting above that. So let's talk about the quality of this guitar. I think this is a really well-made guitar. It is made in Korea. At the time I'm doing this video, it's listing for about $900 US. So if we want to go tip to tail, if I just run down my experience with it, tuners, been very smooth. The nut is made out of graphite, no stability problems. When I run my fingers down, everything feels great. The playability of it is just really impressive, actually. I mean, maybe I got lucky. I found that this guitar, despite being a little higher tension, is extremely playable uh, in comparison to other electrics. So I was really happy with it. When we get down to the bridge, it's got a Wilkinson tremolo and tremolo on a baritone is nice. It really suits the kind of things that it's good at. Again, no binding at the nut. I've never really had any problems with it going out of tune because of that. The bar, the way that it just kind of sits is really good. It'll sit in sort of a range and there is a nut behind. You can tighten and loosen it and kind of move it. Now I would have preferred it would sit right here, but it doesn't really want to sit right here. It doesn't seem to be an adjustment level for that, but you can definitely get it to sit kind of like anywhere in this range if that's where you want it to be. But when I set it up, it falls and it just hits right there, which I guess is kind of in the way of these controls. So some people might prefer that it would kind of hang down to there. Pickups, it's got this single coil soap bar and a double coil lipstick in the bridge. I'm usually playing it on the split position and it's got a split on the bridge. So when I go single and split to single here, I get a humbucker in a nice balanced tone. It's neck. Here's split with the split bridge. Here's bridge split. And here's bridge not split. The binding on the guitar I thought was really impressive when I looked at the workmanship and sort of how it connects here at the neck. It's basically perfect. Got a sunburst on the neck. I couldn't get a blue ship to Canada. So I'm a little disappointed, but it's definitely a nice looking guitar, uniqueness. I really do like the feature of this beveled pickup and the angle on the bottom of the neck I think is, is nice. String tension, I'm using these 13 to 62. I think it's pretty comfortable. It is a much longer string. So with the same amount of string tension, you would get a touch more rattle. Even though it is a semi hollow guitar, it's not lightweight. I'll find my scale and I'll put the number up right now. It puts it in the range of normal guitar weight for me. It does have a neck dive problem though because of the very long scale. In my opinion, this guitar sounds great clean. I'm not a big fan of distorted low guitars. Now obviously there's a whole genre of people that are disagreeing with me and that is fine. But I find that when you distort the, the low B string, it just kind of sounds muddy. Now maybe that's my equipment. Um, what I will say is that when I was playing this in a band where I wanted to distort it, what I did is I split it and I actually played it through two amps. I played it through a bass amp, clean, and then I played it simultaneously through a guitar amp, dirty, and that worked pretty good.
I'll play a couple of things just on different tone settings now, if nothing exhaustive, just to give you a quick overview. One's a finger pick, one's a strumming. It's the same thing I played at the beginning, different tones now. Those just happen to be riffs from an EP that I put out featuring this guitar, which I will link below. And now I'm going to put some distortion on it. I'm going to put it back to middle. Now I'll do the finger picking one. Now instead of distortion for the finger picking, I'll put, turn the vibrato on the fender. So that's it. Overall, I am really happy with this guitar, so much so that I did make an EP with it. So thanks a lot for watching the video and please check out the EP. I'm gonna play a couple of samples of that EP to end off this video, but I'm signing off now. Thanks a lot for watching. In her dream Rent's not increased Back home shelter Warm nights in the summer